So, why are sensitivity labels important for Microsoft Teams? External access in Microsoft Teams is sometimes more like an on-off switch. Especially if we talk about guest access. Having to decide between opening or closing the guest access in Teams at the tenant level is really limiting. And could have a negative impact on the user adoption. What we want. Just to give you an example. Is deploying a scenario in which. We are able to close specific teams that we don't want to expose to the external users. Maybe because the content of the team is sensitive, and we don't want to risk issues like data leakage. We still want to keep the guest access available to the rest of the teams. Okay, so the objective is to close the access to specific teams when we think that the content is sensitive. I do not think it is something that you can do from the team's admin center, is it? No, the steps required are executed in Azure Active Directory and Purview. Mainly. First, you have to enable sensitivity labels for containers. You must enable the feature in Azure AD. Second, you have to synchronize sensitivity labels to Azure AD. Then you have to configure groups and site settings in the sensitivity labeling wizard. Finally, you have to publish sensitivity labels that are configured for sites and groups. Let's start with enabling sensitivity labels for containers in Azure AD. To enable sensitivity labels, we have to work with the Azure AD preview module. To enable the module, use the commands you see on screen. Then, retrieve the existing settings with the following commands. If the enable me playables is set to false, sensitivity labels are not enabled. To enable sensitivity labels, use the following commands. And that was the first step. The next one in the list was synchronize sensitivity labels to Azure AD. To activate the labels, you need to run following commands using the Exchange Online Management module. Now, we should work with the sensitivity labeling wizard, right? Correct. It is in the purview portal, under information protection. We have to create a label, like I am showing now. The settings we are going to apply are for the groups and sites. We have to define the privacy required for the team and also the parameters required for external sharing and conditional access. And now we have to publish the sensitivity labels. Yes. The process is the one I am showing on the screen and uses the publish label feature. Publishing the labels requires some time, if I am not wrong. What is the experience in Teams when the sensitivity labels are available? The labels are usable both for existing teams and for new teams. The privacy of the team has to be the same as the one allowed from the label. Now, applying the label, we have removed external access from specific teams. Which was our objective. Sensitivity labels add a lot of flexibility to external access. Yes, they do.